All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for more Alice. Uh, here we are back uh, in collecting the clockwork bomb. I decided just to switch to the hysteria outfit, which means we could basically use rage mode anytime we want, but there is an achievement to only use it once for the entirety of the game, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to use it whenever because I feel like it. So um, clockwork bombs are basically our little frag outs, and uh, we can go ahead and do many things with it. Uh, where we can kill 30 enemies with it for an achievement. It's a little bit difficult to use, but it's not entirely impossible or, you know, just say the least, I don't know. I'm, I just now literally just switched the outfit and started playing again, and I'm kind of <laughs> going to lose it, I think. So we're going to go ahead and probably just get through another episode's worth and not even finish it. And, yes, the explosions are pretty pa pathetic, so... Anyway, yes, you press B to throw the clockwork bomb. Here we've got nice little uh, illustrations of the Mr. Mad Hatter. So, so yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I, <laughs> I'm sorry this episode is probably not going to be the greatest in terms of commentary, but I would like to very much at least get this one. I wasn't ready to go up yet, man. All right, so <laughs> let's see what we got. Uh, nothing else, I think, so maybe we should just continue onwards. Yeah, I know I'm going to miss something. There's an achievement for collecting all the collectibles in a level, and... The first chapter easily has the most, so of course I'm probably gonna miss miss one or collect all the snouts in a level. So, and so if I do, I apologize. Anyway, I think if we head off over here on the left side, I'll be able to grab something. Don't go into the door quite yet because there's actually this down here. There it is. Okay, very nice. There's always one. Okay, we're gonna start seeing a new enemy here pretty soon, and there's actually a segment up here that's kind of dickish, and I'll explain what we'll I mean by that in a minute. Base, for the sake of your father's unnatural devotion to printed paper. This horde of flammables, not only a malignant spark and poof, our flesh and blood is smoke and ash. Oh man, that's kind of creepy. So anyway, yeah, here we're going to get our hysteria for the first time. And what it does is that you activate it when you have only one rose left. Here we're clearly full. Can't tell right there. But we're, full, we're filled up fully on roses. And um, what kind of sucks is that when they teach you here how to use it, it brings you down to one. And they don't bother, you know, restoring it afterwards, even if you don't use it. It'll just weaken you down to one. But there is a very special achievement we can get. lovely library was a fire trap a conflagration waiting to happen a key the keyblade Alice is the true wielder anyways you get an achievement for uh, being on your last rose and killing five enemies without using hysteria which is what we're gonna be doing right here which will hopefully go through without too many hitches because if they drop roses then that'll screw it all up so when Alice's health is low hysteria becomes available all right so we click left stick in order to do it can't be hurt and you freak out it's pretty awesome actually and it's pretty cool that you'd be able to use it anytime you want but as you can tell it just totally killed our health so let's try and get out of here and at least get these guys going with a couple of pepper grinders. Let's get back. All right, so yeah, it would be, shit. yeah, I have the cleaver. Okay, so as long as you just don't pick up any health and don't get hurt, because these guys are gonna be doing to us, then we'll be fine. I just hope that this doesn't backfire on me because I've never actually tried it. There's actually an easy place to do it in another chapter that we could do later. Ooh. This isn't good. Let's try and kill these guys. I just don't want them to drop hearts. Ugh, god damn it. Get back. Get Okay, there's two. There's three. All right, so let's get out of here. Ugh, get back. Ugh, okay, let's go over here. And this is just for the achievement. There's no other reason why you really even have to do this. All right, come on. Last one, last one, last one. Okay, this one's the last one. There? No, okay, there it is. Okay, whew. at least now we can grab stuff again. All right, uh, well, we got calm in the face of death. I don't. I wouldn't exactly call that calm, but now at least we can start taking these guys out regularly. It's probably ideal now, because I don't want to get hurt since I'm not wearing my half damage thing. Or wait, no, that's the... No, my da half damage thing is my Vorpal Cleaver, so I already take half damage. So it doesn't even matter. It's the dress that gave me double strength. Okay, never mind. I get them confused because you would think a dress would give you more defense rather than a cleaver, but as you can tell, it kind of sucks right here, and you're always going to have that little flashing icon in the corner there which is a little annoying but it's not too bad damn it i i really like that double damage it's really nice wait a minute there's nothing over here is there uh, okay so now we've got the uh new concept of shooting switches and so this becomes kind of an annoying little thing so you click that to go into aiming mode and then we go and shoot that until it goes all the way around and then we'll be good to go thank you very much 
and it'll drop that down. So that's very nice. Very fun. Oh god, I'm sorry. Ugh. Ugh. God, I hate yawning so much, because, like, if you don't get it all the way, it's, like, the most uncomfortable thing ever. It's like trying to see you. Right now. But, ladies and gentlemen, a familiar face. Literally. And not exactly the best, but... No. Bad dreams. A blasty good night. Hatter, I recall leaving you in a decrepit condition. But what? not in pieces. Uh. You. What's happened here? You've lost your hat, and some parts are missing. Missing indeed, though things be what they are. I barely missed their missing. As to what happened, you should know that better than I. It's your place after all. I know my place. When did you ever know your place? Or how to keep it? Now what's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Round and up and down into my ears and through my eyes, not my nostrils, down my gullet and whining in my guts. Papa was exceedingly fond of trains. I don't like them much. You won't like this one at all. Nothing like when Mock Turtle was in charge of the looking last line. This railroad's a bloody shambles. The stink is ferocious, light, blinding, the noise, hellacious. Ah, oh, quite, Tata. I get the idea. A bad train. The world is upside down, Alan. Inmates run the asylum. No thanks. And worst of all, I've left tealess. Tragic. If I do help, will you help me in return? Cross my heart if I had one. Bind my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. Be on your way now. That's a good girl. <laughs> Best way out is through the clock face. You know what? I completely forgot that we we have the clockwork bombs again because I just realized we could have used those against the Insidian ruins and that would have helped out a lot. Ah, no big deal. We're getting health here left and right anyway, so we don't need no friggin' clockwork bombs. They do go off eventually by themselves, but it's, it's not really all that important. So anyway, we've got two platform or two little areas that we can bomb. So let's go do this one first. With death. All right, and last but not least, we'll go set you right there. Now they can also be used as weights, which is something that is going to be shown here. All right, pressure pads function only when weight is applied. Clockwork bomb can be used to maintain weight, and that is actually what we're gonna have to do to get to that other side. So let's go ahead and uh, drop this bad boy on there, and then make a break for it to the other side of the cutscene doesn't stop us first, because it's gonna explode. These things don't survive through cutscenes. Look, a half of its thing went gone. But then when we step on it, it doesn't even explode. We just go up anyways, like we don't even care. But look at... Okay, so now we have to find uh, parts for the Mad Hatter's body. It's like, well, you couldn't have, like, excavated something here. This is like a perfect Frankenstein project. You could have been bigger, stronger, faster, smarter, and stuff like that. Oh, fantastic. Okay. This is going to suck. I hate this. I do, I'm not a fan of this, and they do this too often for their own damn good. We've got three separate areas here. To go to so we're not quite done yet and this is where I was hoping to end off but I'll go a little bit farther just to get this one video because I think I'm just gonna go to bed I'm not even gonna bother editing anything anyway we get I didn't know she started talking here maybe I was just ignoring her this entire time let's go ahead and pick up the umbrella all right press a while focus to block with Alice's umbrella her newfound really shitty umbrella and you can block def uh, and deflect certain enemy attacks which is what we're going to be introduced here very momentarily the game and just thank you ladies and gentlemen the menacing ruin it's a three-headed freaking oh god these guys are so annoying i'm not a fan of these guys so let's go ahead and deflect his fire back at him and uh, we can go ahead and shoot him from afar unfortunately i don't have a double attack so it's not really gonna do much now this guy has a couple different moves and uh you'll notice my thing is spinning there you are only able to deflect things while it's spinning for a short amount of time so just keep that in mind. He's got these moves you just guard against. I don't think I have to do anything. And then go to the side. And then go ahead and go in. Attack its faces. You can kind of tell when it's going to die. Shit. That's not good. Um, all right. Let's go ahead. And, ooh. There we go. You can kind of tell when it's going to die depending on how many faces it has left. Just keeping careful that there is freaking camera issues here up the wazoo. All right. So let's go ahead and just keep on shooting it. The octo grinder is not the greatest of moves for this particular thing. Now, just be a little careful that you're using your Vorpal Blade as well, or Vorpal Cleaver, ooh. All right, but just just keep on chipping at it because this is where it's gonna be kind of an annoying, uh, semi-regular occurrence, I suppose, but just get in there with the Vorpal Cleaver and then just uh, get back when he starts rearing his ugly hands. 
and then hopefully call that good. Uh, all right, there we go. That thing you can't really do much in terms of deflection. All right, there you go. One more, and ooh, it's better to like go off to the right, so at least you aren't having his giant hand in the way. Ooh. All right, so you can keep on going if you feel like it. I just don't want to risk the health hazards that that may cause. All right, there we go. And let's go and, oh, there he goes, charging at me again. All right, let's go kill him, finish him off once and for all. There we go. All right, that wasn't too much of a hassle, I suppose. <sighs> all right, now we've got three switches that we got to deal with. Three switches for three bitches. Well, maybe just the two for right now, but we got to go to three different places before we're done here, and I'm not looking forward to it. So we'll activate that, and we'll also activate this. This right here. Activate, activate, act, act, activate. Okay, now, there's always... Ah, God damn it, my eyes are starting to get really blurry right now. So now we can head off over here, and let's see... I do believe there should be, okay, what are you tr telling me to look at this time? Telling me to look at, okay, so smelling and regurgitating. We've got cranking up, pressuring down, and we've also got uh, the assembled lodge for destruction. Of course, can't go there quite yet. So let's go run over here. Now there should be a uh, pig snout around here. I always forget to grab it though. Ooh, I thought that was nothing for a minute there. All right, let's go shoot this thing. Uh, what's this button? What am I listening to right now? I'm listening to something, but I don't know what it is. I think it's a steam powered giraffe. Some kind of questionable stuff. So you look back there, and there's actually a pig snout. Wait, is that the pig snout? No, that's not. That's just something random. Oh, that is. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, because there's one supposed to be there, but I can't really... You can just tell that it's, like, looking really weird from here. Anyway, uh, it'll raise a platform that'll give us another memory. And actually, do I want to go for it right now? Let's go for it. Let's just do it. You have to pretty much be on the other side that I was just at. Shit. Oh, God. In order to actually reach it, because you can't hit it from here. As far as I know, I usually just go over there anyway, but... God, I need to stop playing because this is going to strictly inhibit my skills. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Really needed that beautiful piece of insight there, good sir. Anyway, let's go run back over here. And I, you could probably go the other way. I've always gone this way first, and that's just been easier for me. I don't know if you can go the other way and start that off, but... Oh, whatever, we don't have a choice. We're going in the little teapot. Short and stout. Smelling and regurgitating. Whee! Roller coaster ride, roller coaster of death. Yeah. But this place, I don't really like this place. It's weird. What? Hell! <laughs> yeah, she's really annoying. Steps to enlighten, frighten the way. Steps are steep, take them one at a time. Okay, will do. So, hmm. Yeah, this lady's gonna be really annoying. Luckily, it's only for this little portion. <sighs> Shut up. God, they. I, I don't know who voices her, but she sounds so familiar. Like, she has such a shrill voice. And what is that? That's one of those guys. Okay. Wait a minute. What are those? Are those going to be there when I jump across here? I don't think so. Let's try. They're usually gone. That's weird. I wasn't expecting... Let's try it. Let's see it. All right, assholes. Are you ready for this? Uh, I don't think anything's going to happen. They're just, they're just there for decoration. They don't even care. But we do have ourselves a switch over here, so... Thank you very much. So this is actual lava, I'm guessing. This looks like lava. There's a part where it's tea again, but for some reason, it's just lava here. And now we've got some more platforming to do. Yeah, this game is, uh, I don't know if you would classify this as platformer or uh, action slash upper whopper. I don't know. But um, I don't think there's anything in here. I think we just have to get across and then we're good. There's a room where we have to fight another menacing uh, ruin and that's really annoying. So uh, we got another Cheshire Cat moment coming up. God, I freaking love that. He's just like such a conniving little creature. Like he's just a witty. Wait a minute, what is over there? Nothing? I'm hoping. All right, cool. Green Day was the most inappropriate thing to come up at this moment in time, but I guess we'll take it. All right, so there's going to be two teapots in here as well as various amounts of insidious ruins. So let's go take them out without dying, shall we? <laughs> Fun stuff. So yeah, this is kind of how the game is going to go. We're going to go do some platforming, go fight some people before progressing onwards, and then continuing onwards. We have to head over there, but we can't do it without activating a switch that is actually beneath us right now. So let's go take care of you, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I like that double damage a lot. All right, he's going to be shooting his T at us. So we're going to be careful taking out these guys. They're going to keep pretty much spawning. Ooh, God, get out of the way, camera. 
Jesus, there's gonna be a second one here too, in case you didn't notice. Why are you, ah, damn it. Okay, this is not gonna be great for us with that guy in the back there. All right, oof, go, get back, get back, oof. Okay, God, all right, let's get, let's get out of here. I'm probably gonna die on this, just saying, because I'm already really low and tired. I could probably just go into hysteria mode, but I don't really, I don't like it. All right, uh, uh. all right. So let's be careful. Take out the other teapot because he obviously will pose a greater threat. I'll kill this guy while we're at it. All right, go die, please. And these guys, oh, come on, seriously, seriously, why was that going on? Wow. Thank you, right bumper, for not activating. Yeah, one time I accidentally spilled just a little bit of coffee on my controller, and I was able to get it out, so at least it didn't stick anymore, but still. I mean, the right bumper should never not be the same again. I don't know. I'm just freaking about nothing. All right, thank you very much. And we'll go ahead and... Oh, I was trying out the... Um, I, I was thinking about using the Hatter's dress, but I don't think that'd be a very good idea because it wastes a lot of teeth, and you lose no health. So, like, it was like, I think it's just because I'm on Nightmare is because it's doing so much. But that just seems a little bit ridiculous. So, we head over here for a bottle. Is that a bottle? No, it's another little the memory. Yes, laid on, Alice. We'll go to Brighton on what we save on beeswax candles and oil. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know where that would come in can canonically. <laughs> That's such a weird word. Like, every time I see it, I have to be like, canonically. Uh, I don't know. That's just my incredibly tired self freaking coming through again whatsoever. God, you know, uh, Alice in Wonderland is actually, or what? No, it wasn't Alice in Wonderland. It was uh, something. No, I think it was a book that had, you know, the main story of Alice, like the original story, uh, like the C.K. Lewis. C.K. Lewis. <laughs> That's how tired I am, you guys. I just called. Uh, never mind. I'm not even a bother. They used the book as a reference for a dying child. And for some reason, they had said it was something that was a soporific effect, and that's how I learned the meaning of the word soporific. And that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm very tired, so we should probably get done here pretty soon. I accidentally closed out of my capturing program, so I don't know where exactly we are in recording. All right, we've already we've only been recording for 17 minutes. If I kept going, that's going to be too long of a video. Okay, so we'll get to the next checkpoint, and then we'll call it good. Because I am tired and I don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, wow, has it already been 17 minutes though? That's kind of insane. Okay, so there should be something over here on the... Yeah, there we go. Very nice. I've probably already missed like three things so far. Uh, it's kind of annoying having to go back every so often and that thing is always going to be up. But there's also going to be the slight chance of showers of death. Ooh, okay. Very nice. So I didn't really need to use the hysteria after all, did we? Well, not really. Maybe I can get through with only using it once, like towards the end. Uh, I doubt it. Doesn't really matter. Ooh, there's this guy here. As long as there's not another teapot, then I'm fine because the teapots are freaking assholes, and this guy didn't even get a chance to look at me. This is your last chance to look at me, Ruin. All right, get back, Loretta. Ugh. All right, cool. So, um, just let me know if you guys, whether or not you guys enjoy some of the longer videos, like the 18, 20 minute videos. Because, you know, I could go either way. I mean, it's just like. We get through more of the game in a short amount of time, and it doesn't really make much of a difference to me, except there are some days where I just feel like not having, you know, millions and millions and millions of uh, videos to record. Ugh, God damn it. Like, there are some days I just don't want to record anything, and that's why I kind of go back on, you know, other recordings. So anyway, we're in this room now. Okay. And this room is going to be kind of a pain in my ass. So... Flip the switch. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna start cooling all of this molten lava, and then again, once again, Mr. Stephen Fry impersonator. No, you're not gonna, you're not gonna tell me what to do. He just said flip the switch. That's such a generic thing to say. Anyway, next time on Alice Madness Returns, we're gonna go tackle this room. This one is probably gonna be an entire video on it of itself. Oh man. Well, can we save at least? Let's. There we go. Okay, now we can leave. Now I am satisfied to leave. All right. Well, this is where it gets annoying, you guys. See you guys in the next part. Ugh. <sighs>